Yo, what's up basketball fans? We made it finally to Bandung untuk opening night IBL season 2024. Super excited sih, apalagi kita akan ngeliput pertandingan rematch finals IBL tahun lalu yaitu antara Prita Jaya Bakri melawan Prawira Harum Bandung. And of course semua pasti penasaran bagaimana nanti malam reception-nya untuk Reza Guntara. Ini pertama kalinya dia balik lagi ke Bandung tapi kali ini sebagai tamu dan juga pertama kalinya dia akan melawan adiknya yaitu Firdan Guntara. And of course Nggak mungkin lah kita semua nggak penasaran untuk nonton Tiga mantan pemain NBA yang akan bermain untuk Pelita Jaya hari ini Ada KJ McDaniels, Malakai Richardson, dan juga ada T-Rap, Thomas Robinson So, gue penasaran sih seberapa jago mereka hari ini akan melawan Prawira Harum Bandung And of course, penasaran juga pengen lihat bagaimana pemain lokalnya Prawira hari ini Apakah mereka akan step up atau tidak Untuk siapa tahu bisa bikin surprise So, itu sedikit opening dari gue, gue baru aja nyampe di stasiun Bandung, tapi sebelum kita ke hotel, kita wajib lah makan dulu. Gue penasaran banget sih sama ini satu tempat, namanya Barbecue Mountain Boys. Katanya ngantrinya suka panjang banget sih, tapi semoga hari ini ngantrinya gak terlalu panjang sih, karena gue nanti rencananya jam 5 sore udah pengen nyampe di Gor Citra untuk cari footage-footage behind the scene so semoga aja sih hari ini liputannya lancar semua guys doain tapi once again thank you so much doa untuk semuanya dan sudah support channel ini selalu really appreciate everybody pastikan kalian nonton secara full jangan lupa untuk likes juga kalau gitu guys sekarang kita makan dulu guys we are here guys at the barbecue mountain boys burger ini katanya semua ingredientnya fresh dan juga produksi sendiri so very excited to try it Lainnya yang agak panjang kalau lagi weekend Tapi not too bad lah, gue sekitar 40 menitan nunggunya So they serve burgers, fried chicken I'm very surprised they have fried chicken Ooh, Penasaran juga sih Barbecue wings, lalu juga ada shake So cannot wait sih guys, penasaran banget untuk nyobain si barbecue mountain boys ini Dan guys, ini adalah menunya Yang kalian bisa pesan di sini Burgernya everything looks good sih Tapi gue kayak akan pesan si sweet fire burger itu dan ini ada chicken wings, ada fries, ada shakes Gue masih mikir sih mau pesan ini atau uh, ini juga atau enggak sih Tapi gue baru denger mbaknya Mbak bilang makanannya nunggunya 40 menit Mateng lah, lumayan juga nunggu 40 menit buat makan nih Setelah 40 menit akhirnya keluar juga guys makanannya Gue akhirnya pesan chicken wings di Nashville Dan juga pesan sweet fire barbecue burger sih So now Time to try it. Ini adalah burger guys, baconnya sih mantep banget kelihatannya. Let's try it, man. I'm very curious. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Ini juga. Untuk harganya sih, not bad at all sih harganya. Barbecue sauce juga lumayan banyak. Ada telurnya juga dalamnya. Ada onion rings, so. Nah. Hmm. Now let's try the chicken wing. Chicken wing juga enak sih, nggak terlalu pedes banget. Cause I thought it's gonna be really spicy. I was so scared, I was so worried. But actually, for this pasti. Wow, chicken wing actually is really good. But ini bergerak emang makannya akan agak berantakan ya guys. Ada. Wow. Berlayer-layer. Waduh, sampai jatuh dagingnya. <laughs> But yeah, it's not bad at all. I like it. Guys, sekarang udah 16.39 kita bentar lagi akan jalan ke Gor Citra. Gue mau datang lebih awal biar bisa tahu medannya dulu. Ini kan pertama kali juga home and away. Buat check out the outfit dong. Hari ini kita pakai jersinya Wemby untuk nonton opening night ya, siapin kopi juga karena game MP malam guys pasti kita berkeluar ataupun berpulang jam 11 malam nanti ini but right now lagi nungguin go car gue after that kita akan go straight to Gor Citra semoga gonna see a lot of people gonna see a lot of time out kings juga shout out to everybody shout out to all my members juga for always supporting this channel oke okay, guys ah, udah tidak sabar untuk nonton Pelita Jaya lawan Prawira nyampe di kandangnya Prawira Gor Citra Arena Fans sudah siap menyambut nih, siap menyambut pemain-pemain yang nyampe. Ya, panik mang perang. Ini jimat, jimatnya coach Dick nih, jimatnya coach Dick.
Hai, good luck ya. Tunggu aja doakan yang terbaik lah yang terbaik. Ya, kita enggak bisa ngomong di video biasa. Lah, mami. Lah, mato. Let's go do it. Good luck, thank you, thank you. Good luck, yes. Good luck, good luck, Dad. Coach, good luck, coach. Yang paling ditempel. Good luck aja. Have fun, man. Have fun tonight. Doain ya. Yeah, pasti. Good luck, Bing. Yes, sir. Good luck, man. Good. Maaf, bro. Ada. Good luck, Bisa. Bisa, let's go. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We need, we need good, zoom, Rocky. zoom on this guy. Hey, baby, what's good? good? Hey, shout out to all timeout gang, everybody in the building. You we here, we here, we here, we here. Do big thing, you feel me? Shout out to my man. Wah, gila, Prawira Store sih udah lit banget karena udah jual jersey yang baru juga. Gue paling nasir sama jersey yang warna hitam ini sih. Man, jersey hitam ini sih asli keren sih. Ada name setnya Yuda lagi. Hah, ntar lah ya, kita, one day kita beli nih jersey-nya. Prawira pemanasan So ready for a big night out from Yuda Let's get it Christian James juga disini
Oh, look at look at who's coming. Hey, Rocky P. Time out, gang. What's good? Thank you very much, coach. Light work done in Bandu, you know what I'm saying? We gave the people what they wanted. Numbers. It's, it's always going to be tough uh, playing Prawera here in the first game. We knew how tough it was. Um, I did a lot of scouting of, of them and see how they played last year. How they played. I think they're the best half court team from what I've seen. So they did a really good job in that first half of slowing the game down and not letting us to play with tempo. So I was disappointed with our team because the five games we've played, we play with more tempo and we want to shoot the ball 75, 80 times a game. We didn't shoot the ball enough because we're too slow. So it was, it was frustrating the first half and we addressed it at half time about we've got to play faster and wear them down because we are very, very talented, I know that. But David is a very, very good coach very good imports, very good team. And uh, yeah, we, we, I think we were actually lucky to win tonight. Just how proud of you of Reza, just keeping his composure the whole game. Yeah. And he was sitting shot right away after he went in. Yeah, look, uh, it's, it's, um, it was a really difficult situation for Reza. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, you know, from Van Gorn, that was his team that he's played with. Um, and it's very, very difficult leaving a team, particularly after a championship. But we, we actually, we spoke as a team about, um, I don't know if protecting's the word, but we wanted to make sure that we knew Reza was going to get booed. Yeah. And we had to, as a team, to make sure, hey, it's okay, it's yeah. okay. And, and for him to be able to make the shots, yeah, he helped us, obviously, with the scout, with what they're yeah. doing and things like that. Um, so I'm very proud for Reza and very happy for him because it would have been an emotional night for him. And Jawado actually in the fourth quarter making a couple of big plays. Can you just yeah. talk about him a little bit? Yeah, yeah. And again, it's trying to work out where he fits in. You know, uh, you know, I play him in the three spot, but Marley in the, the three spot. I, try, I probably kept Marley out there too long trying to get him to, because he, he can shoot. And, and the thing is that he's got to bounce back from that. Now, he's one of the great shooters in the world. Mm. And he was tonight, uh, what was he? Oh, yeah, one and nine. Mm. We're not going to see that very often. So for us to, to, to win the game with one of our main imports not shooting well, I think that's a real positive for us. And he's going to be hungry to be able to come back and, uh, and, and redeem himself. And how happy are you also about KJ setting, setting the tone on defense? Look, he's... Um, I've, I've coached a long time. Mm. I've coached uh, a lot of imports, uh, some amazing imports, and uh, he, he's one of the best all-round players that I've He can score, he can rebound, he can screen, he can pass, play defense. You know, he, he, he's, he's our, 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 what I call a glue player. Mm. Uh, I need to have him on the court a lot because he's very unselfish and makes very smart plays. Thank you, coach. It's kind of what I expected, to be quite honest. I mean, I wanted. I think we could have won the game. I think there was opportunities uh, in the middle of the game where we played really well. We could have pushed the lead or uh, made them kind of chase us. And I thought the start of the third quarter was a disaster. A little bit of that is on me. Um, some of it is on our execution and focus. I thought we let them back in the game. And they're a second half team. Uh, they're very good in the second half. They're very dominant in the second half. And uh, we weren't able to respond specifically in the fourth quarter. Uh, with execution, with composure, uh, with running our stuff and not getting too into uh, one-on-ones and things like that. We stopped passing the ball so much and the reality is they have people that produced and we have people that didn't produce. Uh, this is a miss or make league. This is, you got you to have people that can score the ball against a team like that with uh, you know Team USA, America's team, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you got to score and we didn't score in the second half and there was multiple reasons for that and uh, we got to go back and look at it, but um, I liked our fight. 
I like us standing up against a team with a bunch of Americans all over the place, with our locals playing, no heritage player. Um, proud of the, some of the fight defensively. Uh, we just got to really clean up the offense, and that's going to be the biggest thing for us this season. I'm not worried about our defense. It's going to come down to our offense. I don't remember the last time you scored only three points, uh, but, but more, more important thing is I don't remember when, when was the last time you only took six shots. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that's an interesting situation. I think uh, he's in a little bit of a rut right now, I'll be honest. Um, even prior to this game, uh, that's never going to change the confidence I have in Yuta, the belief I have in Yuta. He's always got the uh, brightest green light for me as a coach, and he knows that. Uh, but he's just got to continue to have self-confidence. I think right now he's in a situation where uh, he's kind of doubting a little bit, and I think we got to get him out of that funk. Um, he's actually one of the most confident people I've ever been around, the most belief, uh, believers in himself, even when I yell at him, even when I get on him. So we're going to need him. Uh, Yuta's going to have to score points this season for us like he always has and uh, I have nothing but confidence in him for the next game and uh, I don't think you'll ever see something like that again. Yeah. Alright. Continuing from that question. Yes. Now, low boo. Okay. Just very confident. Yep. Very calm yep. in this situation. Yep. Can you just talk about him a little bit? It's awesome, man. I'm so proud of him. We put him in the lineup for a reason. Mm. Um, he actually spent a lot of time away with Palmas and Pawn and all these Jakarta things and all these tournaments, but uh, he got back here and he's really focused and ready to go and he's a warrior, man. He's a fighter. He's not scared of the moment. Uh, he's not afraid of anybody. He's not afraid of my coaching. He's not afraid of the imports. He's ready to roll. So some of the things that Lobu did tonight was absolutely special and this shows that he's able to help some of the Yuta minutes in the past that we might not have had. Uh, where we had to play you to extra minutes, 38 minutes, 39 minutes. So um, we're going to really look to uh, to, to put Lobo in there. He's going to keep earning his minutes and uh, very proud of him. He's got a bright future. Bright and future. the 16 turnovers, would you yeah. credit it to the rustiness or just uh, first game so the execution is not there? Yeah, I think I think the first half we had eight, which was a little high, but mm. not too bad. I think just especially for me, it was the fourth quarter. We just got a little bit messy with the ball. And like I said, we got out of our out of our system. I think a lot of what we were trying to do was pick out matchups, which we got sometimes. Uh, then they started to collapse and help, and there was times where we didn't move it. There's other times where people weren't ready for the ball. Mm -hmm. People weren't ready to shoot the ball. Uh, I think we were overthinking it at times. Uh, I was I didn't really wasn't impressed with their pressure or the press. I think we were fine with that. Um, I think it was just us making mistakes and getting in our own way. So uh, we got to clean that up. We got to be better from all aspects. I got to be better. And uh, I think we will, and I think you're going to see a more inspired team tomorrow to go out there in front of your fans and go win a game. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Dang. Just how was your first experience playing in the in the in your own gym with the fans? Just, can you just share about it? Uh, I think it was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it reminded me of playing in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the fans and you know when you go on a run, you know, they were super loud. I mean, I think that it comes from us not running a lot of our sets because they were so loud mm -hmm. so guys couldn't really hear it even though he you know, he prepped us on using hand signals and um it was a beautiful thing i think it was definitely like you know playing in africa as far as the fan base they were here early uh you know the kids you know we watching cheering you know uh, they were helping the rest make calls mm -hmm. and stuff like that so i think it was a beautiful day and i think tomorrow we have to come out and give a better product for them they're gonna come out and you know, probably come from work or whatever the case may be, travel an hour to come watch this play, we gotta give a better product all around the board, starting with me. Thank you. All right, hey. Going, I don't, I could, if I would score zero points, we don't want I'd be fine. You know, so I think the system, system with me works. And I think, honestly, the, the Yuta situation having three points, I think, um, I think I have a little bit to do with that. Um, the confidence thing, uh, you know, uh, talk to him tonight and tell him, you know, just be himself. Don't don't defer. I know guys are probably rolling and hit two or three threes, get an and one, I got two, I dunk, four free throws in a row. Come down and do what you do. We're here to help you, not the other way around. So, you know, it's just it's the first game. It was a banner, guys were emotional. Yeah. NBA got NBA teams go through the same thing on banner night. Yes. If you look at the stats from history, every team loses a bit, almost on banner night. So, you know, it's good to get out the way. It's true. Um, so, you'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, I understand last year we lost three games, but it actually happens. It happens. We'll be all right. <laughs> Dane, did you feel that you have to be more aggressive, though, on offense? Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, I would say yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, you know, we had uh, we were attacking the mismatches. Mm -hmm. um, when we attacked the mismatches, we got shots. God, we just uh, hit a couple of floaters, we dropped a couple of passes in the lanes, and you know, we kick out threes. So we got what we wanted. You know, so I think I could have, you know, been a more aggressive, but you know, like I said, the first game jitters. You know, we, the first preseason the game went just like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, God was dropping the ball, we was missing misreads. You know what I mean? So we had time. I mean, this game's over. So now we got to worry about the next game and keep playing. And can you just talk about how much fun you have playing with Christian James? You guys look like, a, you know, having fun, having so much fun playing together. Um, you know, that's my that's my little bro. Um, I understand who he is. He's a guy that's he's a scorer. You know, once he sees one or two going win, he's super confident. Um, I think I've been proud of him the most. The month we've been here, he's let me get in the shape. He's losing, he lost weight. We challenge each other on getting in shape. Um, it's a beautiful thing, man. He's here to prove a point, got a chip on his shoulder. And he, for the most part, in the game, he was rocking and rolling. So, I mean, that's what they want him to do, come up the bench and score. Um, no matter if you start or finish. I think that's my biggest thing with him. No matter if you start or finish. As long as you just keep playing. All right, thank you, Dan. What a game though guys, gila untuk opening night tadi Prawira lawan Pita Jaya banget itu seru banget sih menurut gue panas guys, tensinya tinggi beberapa kali ada trash talking juga, I think kita suka uh, ya yeah, man, tapi hari ini Pita Jaya Bakri mereka made the place, they made the stops in the fourth quarter itu kenapa mereka berhasil menangkan game hari ini tapi menurut gue sih Waro, Anthony Bean, KJ McDaniel itu pembedanya sih untuk Pelita Jaya tapi Dane tadi ngedang juga asik-asik and of course juga Christian James ada beberapa kali halus dengan 3 poinnya they say they will bounce back tomorrow besok mereka ada game lagi untuk melawan KBS tapi kok gue besok udah balik ke Jakarta kita akan ngeliput Dewa United melawan Satria Muda Pertamina hopefully that game gonna be so much fun akan intense juga semoga ada udah gak sabar sih pengen liat Jordan Adams dan juga pengen liat Galvi Solano ini pertama kalinya gue punya chance untuk ngeliput dan juga nonton mereka so itu dulu dari gue hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk comment and I'll see you guys in Jakarta peace out